What's up guys, this is Ksenia Skralambus and I'm here with Alin Hi AKA Feed Wolf. What's your Instagram? Feed.wolf Instagram Nice, so today we're going to get in a hell leg session uh, Is it a hell leg session that we did today? Yeah, it's pretty hell <laughs> Awesome, so before we start the workout I want to ask Alin some questions This is what I always do to everyone interviewing, asking some questions about their fitness journey So Alin, how long have you been training for? Um, so I've been lifting heavy for about 10 months now um, but I've kind of been athletic like, my whole life. So. And look how she looks like, yeah, in just <laughs> 10 months. I mean, this body, if, if someone doesn't understand much about fitness, he's gonna think that uh, she's training probably for five years. I mean, <laughs> this is how you look like. I think Thank it's you. mostly genetics, but... Also some newbie gains as well. Like, at the you know, beginning it was quite easy to improve. I personally think that it's mostly hard work because uh, Aline is one of the girls that uh, I know her since September, like for 10 months now. Mm. And she wasn't looking like this uh, <laughs> when I met her back on September. I mean, I'm, I'm going to show a picture of her transformation right now. So this is the gains that she gained over the past 10 months, but it's all about hard work. I've never seen a girl in my life in this gym training as hard as here. You are like here for like maybe six hours um, <laughs> per day. Alan, what was the main reason that you got into fitness? Um, so one of the main reasons I got into fitness is because I do MMA on the side um, and jujitsu as well. So I wanted to build strength for that so that I could hold my own against some of the guys. Um, but as I got into it, I just kept going because I like the feeling of being strong, being able to like lift um, and push myself harder and harder every every day and I, I just like the feeling of like being as strong as I can be basically. How is your routine like? So now you are a student at University mm -hmm. College London? Yeah, I'm in my second year. Okay. So what are you studying? Uh, anthropology. Anthropology, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. So how difficult is to combine uh, f fitness and also at the same time being a student? Mm -hmm. Um, it's definitely not easy, but I think that if you really want it, then it's quite easy to fit into your schedule. Um, some people say that they don't have time, they're studying, they have classes and everything, but I think if you really want um, a good transformation and if you want to improve yourself, then you'll make the time. So I go to the gym um, early in the morning. I what get time here. do you wake up? So normally I'll wake up around 6 o'clock um, when I have classes, and then I'll get here for like 6.45. Um, I'll bust it, I'll bust out like a good two hour routine and then by 10 o'clock I'm in my classes. That's really amazing, this is, this is dedication over here. So, <laughs> Alin, how is your nutrition and what is your current goal? Are you trying to bulk, are you trying to cut? Can you tell us more about the fitness information, <laughs> your goals? So, at the moment I'm just trying to maintain because I don't really have a, um, I'm not competing or anything like that. So what I'm is your weight and height? So I'm 154 pounds and I'm 174 um, centimeters. Yeah. Um, so I'm not really doing any a bulk and cutting cycle. I'm just trying to do a body recomposition. So my calories are at 2,125, I think, um, awesome. and that's like my maintenance calories right now. What about the macros? Um, do you have any macro split that you I want do, to share? I do. Yeah. With okay. Us? So I have 245 grams of carbs, 155 grams of protein, and 65 grams of fat each day. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, how many meals do you eat per day and how difficult it is to uh, prepare the meals? Uh, I mean, you are a student, you don't have much time to cook, I guess. And so, how difficult it is uh, to combine cooking and studying at the same time? Is it difficult? How, any tips that you would like to share with us? Um, I mean, it's definitely not easy and there's a big learning curve at the beginning. Um, but I think if you take two or three hours out of every Sunday to meal prep, maybe four or five meals, um, maybe just your lunch or your lunch and dinner, then you can kind of sprinkle in snacks and breakfasts um, as you like and you can have that change daily so you don't get bored of the same thing. Um, but I guess my best tip would be like to prepare. Meal prep is so key, like if you already have a meal in your fridge at the end of the day, then you're much less likely to order takeout or go for some of the naughtier options. Do you eat the same foods every day or you have um, you, you eat different foods uh, on each day? Um, How do you do your meal prep? So I'll have the same lunch and dinner probably four or five days in This a is row. for efficiency, yes? Yeah, so, yeah okay. exactly. Um, and also saves money as well if you like buy in bulk. Um, How much money do you spend per week oh, on food? I don't know. I'm it sure changes, you're calculating. It changes. Um, Give us an average because it's very important. I mean, uh, personally, I spend like probably, if I cook by myself, I I spend like 
80 to 100 pounds a week mm -hmm. if I'm going to to buy uh, meals from a chef for yeah. meal prepping is uh, it's yeah. way more costly so what is your estimation yeah, about I think I think 100 pounds or maybe like 110 pounds a week will be because I do like some of my protein bars my more expensive protein bars protein powders and I save oh, up for nice. those kind of things um, but just produce and stuff would be like 100 or 110 pounds what encouragement do you want to to say to women out there who, are, who want to live to mm -hmm. get a nicer body. I mean, wh what is your view on women and fitness? Uh, how do you see things? Um, so I definitely think there's a stigma um, for women lifting, especially lifting super heavy. Um, I get many people saying that like women shouldn't have muscles, women shouldn't lift as heavy as the, as the guys do. And I think it's really important to break that stigma and show um, everybody that we can do just as much as the guys can inside the gym and outside. Exactly. Um, no, yeah. I, I think you lift some more of some of the guys here. I mean, <laughs> thank you. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, if a girl works hard, she can definitely achieve what mm -hmm. Alin has achieved over the past ten months if you work hard, yeah. because. I'm not saying that is something easy. Um, I don't know. Over the past ten months, what do you think about your journey? Do you, did you find it easy? Do you, did you find it hard? Um, no, it definitely wasn't easy, um, to say the least. <laughs> what do you think is the hardest part? I think the hardest part is um, starting habits, basically. Because it's easy enough to say that you're going to go to gym to the gym for a week and you're going to eat healthy for a week, but really starting a cycle, starting healthy habits is like changing your lifestyle basically is the hardest thing. Okay. Um, yeah. How do you find motivation to go to the gym? Are you motivated every time mm. to, to work out? What is your secret when it comes to motivation? What brings you here in the gym? I think, honestly, I think motivation is kind of overrated. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, you, you can be... You can go to the gym when you're motivated. Everybody goes to the gym when they're motivated. But the hard part is going to the gym when you're not motivated. So sometimes people, so you, re you really need to like, again, like start a habit of actually going, even when you don't feel like it, just make it part of your daily routine. And that's when the results start to come. That's amazing. So what are your goals uh, on the upcoming five years? Where do you see yourself <laughs> in the next five years? What do you want to achieve in the fitness industry? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure you have your goals. You told me yeah. you are going to do a competition right now. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So I really want to improve my MMA and jujitsu game. Basically, I want to compete more in that. I want to um, maybe mold some of my lifting around that so I can improve in the sport. Um, and I basically just want to just want to raise the weight on that bar and see how like high you know how, how heavy strong I, you yeah, can how get. Yeah. How strong I can actually get. Awesome. Yeah. So what do you think is your weakest? body part which body part do you want to make the most improvements over the next three months um so i really want to i really started to make an improvement for some of the glutes some of the i started a new booty program Ooh. to really like to really build that butt yeah yeah i think um some of the misconception girls that, that girls have if they want a better butt they're gonna always go on the cardio machine they're always gonna like eat less food but I think if you really want like a bigger butt and a smaller waist you really have to hit lift the weights heavy. yeah lift heavy that's the only way to do it yeah, that, that's a myth actually about those uh, cardio machines and most of the girls they think that if they are going to lift heavy they are going to look like bulky but that's not the case because that, that's actually a myth a, a woman doesn't produce as much testosterone as men. I mean, even women, they do produce testosterone, but in very low levels, that doesn't allow the muscles to get in a very super bulky way and look uh, nasty um, as a girl. So, Ali, thank you so much for being in my videos. Thank you for having me. How do people can find you? Um, so, basically, I have an Instagram, at fit.wolf. Um, and yeah, you are also doing only. photography, yeah? I also do photography. Um, I'm a conceptual and portrait photographer, so if you want to search She's Alina doing Ronsky, amazing work. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, AlinaRonsky.com, that's my website. Awesome. Thank you so much for, for being on my channel. Make sure, guys, that you follow Alin on her Instagram. I'm going to link the links in the <laughs> description below. So I'm going to see you again on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>
two machines stacked. Yeah? One, let's go. Two, let's go, come on.